Do you know what makes up the inside of a microchip? Let's make a 3D model of a semiconductor to help you envision the complex layers. Then we'll zoom in to take a closer look. While you may think computer chips look flat, they are actually made up of many layers of different materials, stuffing a lot of technology into a small package. Microchips, like the piece you put in your computer? First, we are going to color our transistors and the metal sections of our chip. This can be any color you want. I chose red because that's my favorite color. After you've done that, we'll cut them out these will make up the structure of our chip. Okay, what's next? We'll put them together with our tape at the transistor points. My brain isn't feeling very brainy today. Be careful not to flatten your chip when you add a new layer as you want the model to be three-dimensional. This. So I put this one on here, and then this one goes on top of here. I don't know, I messed it up. For our final step, we'll add our bonding pads to our chip, then observe the structure. Is this it? Give them a closer look, AP. Microelectronics are all around us, from our televisions to our cars. In our Light It Up episode, we talked about how simple circuits can do work like turning on a light bulb. But microelectronics can do more complicated tasks than that. Let's go deeper. Microelectronics or microchips can be thought of as the brains behind all the devices that we use in our day-to-day -day lives. What do you think an electronic brain looks like? They're mostly made of silicon, which comes from sand. Purified silicon is used as the base of a microchip due to its properties of being a semiconductor. To give the microchip specific function, other materials are introduced like copper, oxides, and polymers. Processes such as etching, diffusion, and deposition are used to alter existing silicon or layer additional material on top, like a cake or a pizza. By sandwiching the materials together, we can make different components like transistors, diodes, capacitors, insulators, and conductors. These different components let microchips collect, process, and act on electrical signals. So, while a microchip might look flat to us, it's actually built up from many different layers and components. Is this how you thought a microchip was structured? I didn't know microchips was made out of this many layers. This reminds me of a block of cheese. I thought it was just like one big block. Did you know that microchips had so many layers? I knew it had a lot of layers, but I thought maybe like two or three. I thought it was only made out of one layer. Microchips contain and process a lot of complicated information, but the basic building blocks are pretty simple. Once you take a closer look. Chip kid.